Chapel Hill is a beautiful town full of rolling hills and trees and home to one of the most beautiful college campuses in America, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. But is this college town actually a good place to live? I'm going to give you my top five pros and top five cons on Chapel Hill so you can decide whether to jump on or dump on living in Chapel Hill. I'm Keith O'Hare and I'm a realtor who helps buyers and sellers in the Raleigh-Durham market, which includes Chapel Hill. I'm frequently helping my buyers relocate to Chapel Hill, so this is a community I know extremely well. Now, let's get started with those pros. Pro number five is Carolina culture. Chapel Hill is a smaller town and is centered around the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, which is also known as UNC or Carolina. UNC is the nation's first public university and also my alma mater. Since Chapel Hill is smaller, the university and the Carolina culture are a big part of living in Chapel Hill. In Chapel Hill, the street signs are Carolina blue and even the fire trucks in Chapel Hill are Carolina blue. They couldn't possibly be red, which is the color of in-state rival North Carolina State University, which is located in Raleigh. You also have charming Franklin Street, which is located at the end of UNC's campus. Franklin Street is known for its shops, restaurants, bars, and of course, lots of UNC swag. Living in Chapel Hill means being immersed in a college campus full of school spirit with that Carolina blue all over town. However, it is not uncommon for Duke doctors, faculty, staff, and alumni to live in Chapel Hill. So don't be scared off of living in Chapel Hill, even if you root for a different team. Pro number four is cultural and art scene. Chapel Hill has a great cultural and art scene. The town of Chapel Hill hosts several different festivals and events throughout the year, like the Festival Arts Market, fireworks at Keenan Stadium for July 4th, the Pride Parade, Juneteenth celebration, and a holiday parade. You can also find murals and displays of art from Franklin Street to even on trails as you are going for a walk, run, or bike ride. Also, with UNC being in Chapel Hill, you can take advantage of all the great guest speakers, musicians, and performances that are being hosted by the university. Even the students put on great events themselves, like acapella groups, dance groups, plays, and more. If you are looking for a vibrant cultural and art scene, Chapel Hill is one of the best places to be in the Raleigh-Durham area. Pro number three is homes with character. If you want a home with character, living in Chapel Hill could be the right spot for you. Certainly there are more traditional neighborhoods like Southern Village and Sunset Creek, which are incredible places to live, but closer into Chapel Hill are homes on large lots with tons of character. This is especially true in the areas off of Estes Drive and near Eastwood Lake. You can find homes on rolling hills with tons of trees in varying styles from mid-century modern, transitional, modernist, and traditional. Some of the most beautiful and unique homes in all of the Triangle area can be found in Chapel Hill, and you can find those homes in almost any style. If you are looking for a truly unique home, then Chapel Hill could fit the bill for you. Pro number two is small town charm. The population of Chapel Hill is just over 60,000 people. Unlike Durham, Raleigh, Cary, and Apex, and really everywhere else in the Raleigh-Durham area, Chapel Hill really has not grown that much over the past couple of decades. Chapel Hill has remained intentionally smaller, so you have not seen those massive new construction developments that you find elsewhere in the area. You may find a one-off new construction home, or a few years ago, there was one new construction community called Chandler Woods. Otherwise, if you want a new construction home, then it's going to be that one-off opportunity or Chapel Hill is just not the right fit for you. The lack of growth and lack of new construction has helped Chapel Hill maintain its small town charm and distinct culture. Chapel Hill has a much smaller and intimate feel to it than compared to other places you can find in the Triangle. This combined with Chapel Hill being in a college town makes it truly have a unique feel compared to other towns you may select in the Triangle. Pro number one is top schools. Chapel Hill has some of the best schools in the entire Raleigh-Durham area and the entire state of North Carolina. I have buyers choosing Chapel Hill specifically because of the top ranked schools that you can find here. The way public schools work in Chapel Hill is different from everywhere else in the Triangle area. Across the Triangle and really the whole state of North Carolina, school assignments are based on what county you live in. Raleigh, Cary, and Apex are in Wake County. So if you live there, you are in the Wake County schools. If you live in Durham, you are in the Durham County schools. Chapel Hill is in Orange County, but it is not in Orange County schools. Chapel Hill and neighboring Carborough have their own school district called Chapel Hill Carborough City Schools. In the entire Triangle area, this is the only public school system set up this way. So Chapel Hill and Carborough are the exception to school assignments. Since it is just two towns, this results in a significantly smaller school district with only 20 schools in total and just three high schools. That's compared to Wake County, which has almost 200 schools and 34 high schools. I tell my buyers, you really can't go wrong in Chapel Hill if you are assigned to any of the schools in Chapel Hill because they are all excellent schools in a small school district. 
If top public schools are high on your list, then you would be smart to give Chapel Hill a serious look. Before we move on to the cons, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you are enjoying this content so I know to produce more videos like this. Now, let's get started with those top five cons. Con number five is College Town. Chapel Hill is truly a college town. The university is the hub of activity in and around Chapel Hill. Unlike Duke in Durham and NC State in Raleigh, UNC is really the main driver of jobs and activity for Chapel Hill since Chapel Hill is so small compared to the cities of Durham and Raleigh. This can create a fun and exciting environment, especially around big sporting events, like when UNC plays a big basketball game or wins a national championship. However, it can also come with some big headaches like crowds and traffic around major events like Halloween on Franklin Street or college students filling outside of campus for off-campus housing. I certainly know as a college student, I would never have gone to an off-campus party, especially one that involved jello wrestling. It is important to note that the closer you live to campus, the closer you feel the impact of the university and Chapel Hill being a college town. Some of the neighborhoods north of Chapel Hill, like Lake Hogan Farms, are far enough off campus, you don't quite have the same college town vibe. Whether you like it or not, you need to realize that Chapel Hill is definitely a college town. Con number four is Chapel Hill address, but not really in Chapel Hill. If you are moving to Chapel Hill specifically for the schools, you have to be very, very careful that you live within the Chapel Hill Carver City Schools town limits. It is possible to have a Chapel Hill mailing address, but not live in Orange County or be within the Chapel Hill Carver City Schools town limits. I can think of a couple good examples of this occurring. The neighborhood of Downing Creek is a great neighborhood and has a Chapel Hill mailing address, but it is actually in Durham County. So if you live there, you will go to Durham County Schools. South of Chapel Hill is a huge master plan community called Briar Chapel and a gorgeous gated community with rolling hills called Governor's Club. Both of these neighborhoods are amazing, but they have Chapel Hill addresses and they're not in the Chapel Hill Carver City Schools because they are in Chatham County. So anyone that lives in those neighborhoods would go to Chatham County Schools. The point I'm making here is that if you are choosing Chapel Hill specifically for those great Chapel Hill Carver City Schools, you need to make sure you know exactly where you're living and not just a Chapel Hill address, but they're actually assigned to one of those schools. That means you need a great real estate agent who can help you figure this out. So if you need one, I can think of a good one. Con number three is older homes. As I mentioned in the pros, Chapel Hill has not had much growth or new construction development. That means you will find a lot of homes that were built in the 1960s and 1970s that are closer into Chapel Hill. And then north of Chapel Hill and even just northwest of Chapel Hill, you'll find a lot of neighborhoods that were built in the 1980s and in the 1990s. There are just not a lot of neighborhoods or homes that were built really in the last 15 to 20 years that are in Chapel Hill. So most likely in Chapel Hill, you'll be getting an older home. This often comes with more character and a larger lot, but it could also come with major cosmetic updates that are needed or even non-cosmetic work being needed like new windows or potential structural issues. So you just need to keep that in mind of when you're purchasing an older home in Chapel Hill that it could require just a bit more work. If you can see the potential and are willing to put in a little bit of work, a distinct Chapel Hill home is hard to beat. However, if you want a newer home, then Chapel Hill might not be the right place for you. Con number two is commuter traffic. There are not a ton of companies that are based in Chapel Hill, but a lot of people are choosing to live in Chapel Hill for all of the reasons I mentioned in the pros, especially those top public schools. This means a lot of people who need to commute for work are going to Durham, the Research Triangle Park, also known as RTP, and Raleigh. To get out of Chapel Hill, you are on smaller highways that can often get very congested, like 15501 on your way to Durham, or Highway 55 on your way to get to Highway 40 for to get to Raleigh or to RTP. Additionally, there is a lot of traffic coming into Chapel Hill because of UNC and the UNC hospitals. All of the university and hospital employees need to get into work and get home from work. So that just compounds the traffic problems in Chapel Hill. Compared to other parts of the country like New York City or Los Angeles, we are talking about very minor traffic congestion, but for the Raleigh-Durham area, Chapel Hill is probably one of the most congested places. So just keep that in mind if you were having to do a commute or experience that commuter traffic into Chapel Hill. Con number one is expensive. Chapel Hill is the most expensive place to live in the entire Raleigh-Durham market. Market, and it really isn't even close. The median single family home price for Chapel Hill is 735,000. That's compared to 430,000 for Durham and 500,000 for Raleigh. The next closest town to Chapel Hill is Cary, which has a median single family home price of 680,000. As you can see, Chapel Hill is the clear winner in terms of being the most expensive place to live based on that median single family home price. As I mentioned before, this often comes with an older home too that could need some work. Chapel Hill is an amazing place to live and comes with so many great perks, but that has driven up the home values here. Also, the lack of new construction communities and growth 
has resulted in an inventory shortage in Chapel Hill, which has also driven up those home values. I still think Chapel Hill is worth it, but you just need to be prepared that if you want to live in Chapel Hill, you will pay a premium and it is the most expensive place to live in the Raleigh-Durham area. That's a wrap for our pros and cons of Chapel Hill. Does Chapel Hill sound like it could be a good fit for you? If you are considering Chapel Hill or really anywhere in the Raleigh-Durham area, I would be happy to help. Please reach out at info at or the number on your screen. I'll see you next time.